does demonstrate our interest and commitment about proceeding to find the right solution here, the right approach to deal with the Yazoo backwater flooding issue. That's Assistant Secretary of the Army Michael Connor opening the second of five Yazoo Backwater Community Engagement Sessions. Each session lasted until everyone who wanted to speak had their chance in front of the microphone. Each speaker telling how their lives were turned upside down, how their homes were filled with floodwaters, how their farms rendered useless for another year. For most, if not all in attendance, they've done this before many times before. My job in 2019 was to sandbag every day to help anyone that needed help. I mean, we sandbagged at uh, Valley Park Elevator for two weeks straight. For Rolling Fork's Harley Beth Wyndham, her family was lucky that year, if you can call it that. Her home never flooded, but their farm was underwater. It was really hard as a farmer because I mean, that's your life. 1,800 acres is what we have to farm and to make a crop that year to make the life. And we got 500 acres and we prayed every day that we planted up to the water. We replanted, I don't know how many times. And it was a struggle every day to go out there and see six feet of water over your field. Farm Bureau made the trip with Anderson Jones in 2019 to his home, still surrounded by floodwaters. Today, he and his family are still trying to rebuild. Jones says he is often asked why he doesn't move. Some people that he gave $6,000, their dad and mom and built what you had and, and you take $6,000 and your home is gone. And when that $6,000, if you ain't managed right, it's gone. When you go to bed at night, you know, you, before you pray, they say, Lord, help me to get back to my home. Charlie Darden's family has lived and farmed near Onward, Mississippi for 140 years. In 2019, 90% of his farm was underwater. That same year, Darden gave President Mike McCormick and Farm Bureau staff a trip over the South Mississippi Delta to survey the damage with their own eyes. Oh, it's devastating. I mean, we have crop insurance. Everybody does. It's required by lenders, so you have to have that. Uh, but no one is going to make a living farming on crop insurance, I promise you. It just is not a long-term solution at all. It's a patch to get you by until the next year, and then hopefully better times will come. Speaker after speaker tells the government panel the solution should be to finish the pumps promised back in the 1940s as a part of the original plans. Well, we, we hope. You know, we've been fighting this for years, over 50 years. So. So we don't, we just keep trying. We can't, we can't quit. We live here. We're going to stay here. We got to, it's home. But there is no guarantee any action will be taken. For South Delta residents and farmers, maybe this time their words will find the right ears. <laughs>